Hello comrades, I'm Ugly Fish. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. And today I'm starting a playthrough of a game called Yonder The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. I'm a little bit behind the times here. Yonder was released in 2017 for the PlayStation and PC, and a Nintendo Switch port was made available in 2018, which is the console I'll be playing on today. I've had my eye on Yonder for a while, it appeared on a list of games recommended to people who enjoyed Stardew Valley. I thought I bought this game at some point last year and actually had bought my time at Porsche, so not quite the same. I had some Nintendo Gold points expiring though, so I bought myself this, alongside a few other games. Thought I'd give it a go. Now before we properly begin, I just want to explain disclaimer right at the start. My left Joy-Con, like everyone else in the world, is drifting and that is going to produce some interesting gameplay. Right, our dearest child, it broke our hearts when we sent you away, but it was the only way... I missed it. When the day comes that you seek the truth, trust in the celestial compass to guide you. It will lead you far across the sea, into darkness and into light, but it will always lead you home. Home to... Jamea? Gemia? Gemia? Wow! Oh, that is a bright screen. Big fan of the little fiddle. It's quite reminiscent of the little the little Korok dude from Was it Wind Waker? That's Wind Waker, isn't it? And and I'm on a boat. So first impressions are The Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker. Oh, I'm free to walk. I thought it was still video time. Ooh. Oh, no voice acting. This is amazing. I thought Gamia was just a made-up place. And then she said something about she's glad she got out the kitchen. The face styles are very similar to Wind Waker as well. In a, in a way I can't pinpoint whatsoever. Because in terms of proportions and style, it's not. But it's very reminiscent of it. Huh. Oh, not him. I like his glasses. Let's have a chat to the captain. Yes! I would like to see the island. Would I? The way it said finally, it made me feel like there was something else I should have explored. Better shorten sail. How do I shorten the sail? I can't even see the sail. It was all going well, Prince Zuko, and now it's not. I don't know how to shorten the sail. Maybe it's up here, because there's no ladder. Oh! The sail's not even down. Look at the speed we're going, and we've got the... Well. Oh. I think we're in heaven. She's just said we're safe. There's absolutely no way we're safe. I've literally just seen us get blown up. And now we're in heaven. Oh, I thought if I got my compass. Do I have to go back from the compass? Strange new place. It, it's heaven. My path is blocked. My family can help you, but they themselves are lost. Find them and they will lead you home. Awaken, your journey has only just begun. Okay. So this isn't a, this isn't a new life, is it? That's my boat ruined all around them. Can I jump in the water? Can I get to the boat? If the villager has a green exclamation mark, it means they want to talk to you. Is that telling me? To, there's no one for me to see. These things I was looking for. Are they in the box? That's quite Zelda-ish as well, isn't it? Bits of a great fairy broken up and put into places. That's not a new comparison. A lot of the reviews I've seen of this have drawn those kind of parallels. But is it Majora's Mask? And uh, you're around the bombers in like East Clock Town or something and you roll into a box and there's bits of the great fairy. Can I throw a stone at the box and open the box? Do I even need to open the box? 
I mean, you can't see. At the minute, I'm pressing every button and every button combo that I can think of to see if I could hit it with anything. If a villager has a green exclamation mark, but there's no one to speak to. What's the strange blue glow? That's a fairy, is it? Lumi. There's a Pokemon that looks like that. Can't remember what it's called. Discovered Sprite Lumi. Okay, and now the compass just has a point. I walk out. Pick up a mushroom. This is also a little bit reminiscent. There's another box. Nothing I can do. It must just be decoration, mustn't they? Whoop! There's Lumi. The way out is just past the. Of all the words it could have been called, it's called one that I can't say. Meh. There we go. Thanks, Lumi. I wish I had my brothers and sisters to help me out. We can find them. Okay. Oh, look at this. That whole opening sequence there, and this view that you've got now. Breath of the Wild. There's Death Mountain. There's another bit of Death Mountain. Go on. There's a village over there. Let's go check it out. You aren't looking the best. Thanks, Lumi. Let's head over to the village. Okay. The grasslands. Farm production speed. That's what I'm looking for. When I got this game and it said similar to Stardew Valley, I thought I would be loading a farm. And then that opening bit seemed a lot more action-adventure. But it does have farming benefits there, so... It's very nice. The soundtrack's lovely, the environment's lovely. It's a mixture of very um, exaggerated cartoony styles and some really realistic looking things. The water that I opened up at 2 into the cutscene was absolutely stunning. Celium flower. Collecting these things isn't introducing me to any kind of recipe, but at the same time, they're definitely around for a purpose. Something in the distance. Pick up the vine. Is it a, a sheep? You can craft items through your journal. A groffel. Oh my god, I love him. He's a kind of blob with antlers. Right, let's do what I'm supposed to do. I've picked up enough items. It's telling me again about a villager. I discovered Fairmont. Hi. Aww. Wow. Oh, there's some really unnecessary noises there from Master Low. The town townsfolk warmly welcome you. Once your belly is full and your worries are eased, your head hits the soft pillow and you drift to sleep. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like Master Low. Master Low definitely belongs on some kind of list. That's disgusting. Uh, ever since the terrible accident years ago, Merc has been popping up. People here, ask around and you'll soon have all the skills you need. I blasted through all of that far too quickly. You have new clothes. The clothes don't seem to have any attributes. But I don't seem to have any attributes, actually, thinking about it. I know I haven't done anything exciting, but I don't seem to have a life meter, no attack. But there must be a purpose for these, other than just aesthetics. The inventory is really big, very detailed. Look at all these. What's this at the top? Chef, carpenter, tailor, master. Are they all different jobs that I can take on? So I have to get more. No, there's no point trying to guess. Let's just play the game. Talk to Merrick, talk to Slime Wiley. Hi! Mm. The sun that capsized your boat destroyed the East Ox. Mm. That's a big problem. This is a trade guild without the East Ox bringing in goods. We're not in mm. any position to help you out. Take this mallet. That's pretty oh. helpful. Thanks, Merrick. Don't go putting yourself down saying you're in no position. Mallet is good. 
I've got some stones, I've got enough. You have a new tool, use LR to select it. You have a mallet. How? Yep, I'll do that as well. I'll take the quest. I'm stuck now. There we go. This is not the kind of game that I should be playing with a bad Joy-Con. There are, there are options, obviously, that you can change. In general, it's quite swingy. I get very motion sick playing games and it really is triggering it at the minute. So I don't know how much longer I'll be able oh. to play. Hmm. Violet wants to become a comedian. Hmm. Oh, she looks oh. like with the shape of her face oh. and all of it. Oh, what's her name? I think she's poor and she becomes rich or she's rich and she becomes poor. Again, in in Wind Waker. Does it begin with an M? Myla, me, no. Doesn't matter anyway. She's going to become a comedian. Good on her. Night's fallen pretty quickly, considering I only just woke up. My lantern that I'm carrying around is incredibly helpful, if not slightly distracting. I was trying to see if I could pick up 43 wood. I thought I had wood in my inventory already, clearly not with it being zero, which means that the things I'm picking up must be sticks. And sticks are not the same as wood. I must need an axe. Can I hit it with the mallet? No option came up then. I've taken this quest far too early, so let's just head... Get all my stones and head to the docks. Skipped out a fair bit of me just getting lost. I'm starting to think I've done something wrong here. Clear murky. To purify the murky mushroom sprite you found. One out of six. I literally have not seen another. It does want me to go that way. Is there another way around? Just smash the rock while I'm here. There's no other way around, is there? I'm totally jammed. Is there sprites in this box? Like Clock Town again. Nothing in the box. Get that fine. So much detail has gone into the shadows and the way that little light works. I feel that's going to be really important. No sprites in the box though. I've messed up, haven't I? But I don't know how. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That's not the way to the docks, that was the way to deliver the wood. That's like... Adventure Game 101 is just making sure you're following the right quest marker. I've wasted so much and look... Bottom left corner has got days and years and seasons and times. I feel like I've wasted a lot of time there. East stocks open again is what I need to do. I've just put it on the wrong quest. Oh no, there we go. East stocks in that direction. Well, at least I got to explore a little bit. I've seen a bit of make that I need to clear. Picked up a few more reagents. Pick that one up. Pick up another one. I've wasted a lot of my own time there though, that's frustrating. Who's this? Sly McWiley. You're the traveller who washed ashore earlier. You look a little wimpy. Mate, have you seen me? I'm a tank. I've got massive muscles. Take this sickle. Cut the long grass and bring me ten fodder. All right then. I mean, look at the thighs on me. I clearly played rugby and he's telling me I'm wimpy. We soaring through this. Yeah, I'm fuming with him now. Have your fodder, Slime Wiley. 24, 27, 28. I may as well finish it off, mightn't I? There we go. Light work. 
Sly McWiley, you could have done that yourself instead of standing waiting for me. Oh, you can get other people to cut the fodder for you. Oh, I feel like I've just maybe been tricked a bit. Then again, I got a free sickle or a scythe or whatever it is out of it. Very communist. Comrade Sly McWiley. I never want to speak to him again. I feel like I've been cheated. This is the beach. There's a pier. Definitely at the East Docks now. Let's just have a quick run round and pick things up. This must be Marina. Oh, there's a chest. Black rimmed glasses. I'll put them on. But again, no difference in any kind of attribute. The core pillar of hipster fashion. I look great. But no difference to my character at all. Oh. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. I will fix the docks for you, Marina. Oh, isn't that nice? I like that. And there's a big load of blue shining through there, so that must mean there's another sprite. Right, I probably should go and tell Master Lowe, but I'm going to have a look at these traders first. An axe for the wood. Axe for the wood. I want the axe. I want the pickaxe. I don't know how much money I've got. Add backpack items you wish to trade with. Okay. There's no way I've got 400 of whatever this, this currency is. Even if I trade everything. I'm going to try trading everything as well. Oh, that's a very small annoyance, is that every time I trade something, rather than the case of finishing where I finished, it pops back to that first square. Trader says no deal anyway, that was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Wimblewick is desperate to get rid of all their equipment. So I must go to Wimblewick to trade things. How do I get in the boat? Do I have to hit the box? Oh, oh I'm stuck now. I think I'm dead, aren't I? Clearly can't swim. That sickle in one hand, anyway. What did I think I was going to be able to do? Jump in. Hi, Locke. So now I've got Lumi and Locke. Oh. Oh, that's embarrassing. Had another little wander down the beach when I'd managed to uh, surface. Mm. And this is the captain oh. of the boat I was on at the start. Oh. Marina has kept me busy oh. gathering materials. It was my oh. boat that wrecked it. Could you dig up information on the rest of the crew? Yep. Yeah. Oh. I'll certainly try. Hmm. Thank you again for looking for them. No worries. Thank you for letting me oh. smash these boxes. A potato seed? red berry seed something that I haven't really looked into is how much of this game is story and how much of it is I'm not really explaining myself there what I mean is is this an action adventure game with a small farming element is it a farming game with a story I suppose I have collected fodder, haven't I? That there have been farming elements as such. And maybe... I would... It's only day two, and I've wasted a huge amount of time. I'm sure I'll get my farm soon. I'd like to know what's up here. This little quest marker. Oh. I don't know what that is. Can't find a way to get into it. I've got the mallet selected, I thought I'd be able to smash it. There's some more groffles. They're very cute. There's some make. Oh, two out of two! I've got that. All gone. And some kind of ruin. Oh, that I can't get into. 
that seems frustrating to clear the make and then <laughs> this is such a stupid complaint as well I don't like it when a game if there was a fence all around it and bits of fence I couldn't walk through fine it annoys me when a game just puts up invisible barriers it's such a petty complaint I'm almost annoyed with myself for saying it but I feel like invisible barriers are more annoying than me complaining about invisible barriers I think that's Fairmont way how did I do that did that happen automatically? Oh, big fan of the uh, Mary Poppins thing going on there. Right, am I back at Fairmont? That looks like Master Low, doesn't it? How? Noise is he going to make now? Uh, how? Talk to Minnie. Oh. Uh, how? Had to cut out a little bit of footage there because of some Joy-Con problems. I think this is Minnie. Oh. I like her hair oh. and I like her frown lines oh. on her forehead. That's what oh. I look like all the time. Take this axe. Oh. I am so glad I didn't buy an axe before. Oh, clear the make. I've, I've already done it. So that's why I couldn't get into... Oh, I feel bad complaining about the invisible barrier now because that's the reason why I couldn't get in. Right, chop down some wood. I'll just get enough wood to do this quest with. Now that I've got the axe, I can go and get more wood for Cleet or whatever her name was. The 43 pieces. But I don't think I'll be doing that today because I'm feeling severely motion sick. And I've just planted a tree where I cut it down. Sustainable. Excellent. Different kind of trees give you different kind of wood. Any of that. This big spindly thing. I oh, can't even chop that down. Fair enough. Sprig pig. Oh, that sounds like that sounds like an insult, doesn't it? There are some questionable choices in this game. Mainly some of the noises Master Lowe makes and the phrase Sprig Pig. Planted another tree, that's good. Deliver to Bushel. Where are you, Bushel? Smash all this. It's like some kind of little shrine there with the moon on. Oh, maybe it has to be the night for anything to happen. And it is very definitely just turned into day three. Oh, I feel like I'm really behind. I feel like I should have been able to do all this by day two. It's good that you can work through the night though. There's no stopping like there is on Stardew or Porsche. I feel that's some kind of small mercy considering I've had such a slow start. Right, let's go and find Bushel. There we go. Another questionable noise. Dab hand repairs. Clean up the mech, let's roll up our sleeves. Quest complete, repair the farm. Oh, sad farm rating. But there it is, there's the start. And I've got a new recipe. So, you know, for three days, ten o'clock by day three, I actually haven't done so bad, have I? I feel like this is probably the best place to stop. It's a good quest marker, and I feel horrifically travel sick. So far, this seems to be a really sweet game. The soundtrack is lovely, the graphic style is very vibrant and nice, but also very detailed and intricate without being realistic i'm really excited about seeing what i can do with this so all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching friends and being here at the start of a brand new gaming journey if you'd like to play along with me please like this video and subscribe to the channel to see what comes next and until next time bye